Before this video even starts, I wanna address one thing, and it is a, uh, it's this. It's actually some cupping. Um, for anyone that is following me on Instagram, whatever, you know, I've been dealing with headaches, and so I'm trying to see how I can fix it by releasing some pressure in my shoulders and neck and everything, but um, I just didn't want anyone to think, you know, it's a hickey or whatever, just a little scandalous, but um, yeah, moving on. This video was born out of the comments and the DMs that I kind of get quite often, and it's what paint are you using, what markers you're using, what are those canvases, yada, yada, yada. And so I figured I'd just make a video about all of my art supplies. And so frankly, I can just send this video to uh, the next person to ask me, you know, what do you do for your supplies, Nick? So enjoy. Okay, first things first, let's talk about spray paint. Spray paint is what I use for like 99% of my custom canvases as the background color. I use a brand named Golden, and it is a acrylic based spray paint, and it's a little bit pricey, but I find that I can just use one layer of the spray paint and it works wonders. And so this is the brand I use, and since it's acrylic, you can't hydro dip with it. And so if I ever do hydro dipping, which I haven't done in a long time, um, I'll use Rust Oleum for my spray paint. And Rust Oleum just is non acrylic, and so it works better for hydro dipping various different things. And the cool thing about golden spray paint is that you can buy different caps for it. So I use Ultra Skinny. It comes with like the normal, um, or you can get, you know, Ultra Fat. There's also like in-betweens as well, but I use Ultra Skinny and sometimes I'll use Ultra Fat. And then you can't spray paint. Well, you can if you wanted to, but I don't like spray painting without using a mask. I use a 3M mask and you gotta replace your filters every month or so, and yeah, a mask will help you so you don't breathe in all those toxic fumes. So I use my spray paint for my canvases, and I use Angelus Leather Paint for my Nike Air Force Ones. Um, if you wanna buy some Angelus Leather Paint, you can go ahead in my link down below. I'll get a little kickback, and they'll support this channel and support me, so if you want to, be my guest. But I have a bunch of different colors for Angelus Paint, and sometimes I'll mix the colors or just use them right out of the bottle, but yeah, I use Angelus paint for my Nike Air Force Ones. And then also Angelus offers a matte finisher, which I'll use on my shoes as well. But if I wanna paint Vans or like any other canvas shoe, uh, you can't really use leather paint on it. So Angelus also offers uh, this medium called Too Soft. So you mix like maybe a fourth or so uh, with Angelus leather paint mix it together and it creates a, a paint that you can use on canvas materials, AKA like a pair of Vans. But if I don't use Angel's paint mixed with Too Soft, then I'll use Cretex airbrush paint. And I don't have an airbrush gun, but um, I found that the airbrush paint works just fine on canvas shoes. And so I'll use that as well. My last bit of paint is golden acrylic paint. To be honest, I haven't used it too much. I've only used it on one canvas, but I have plans to use it in the future, and it's just sitting there waiting for me to use it, so I don't really have too much to say about this. So now is probably a good time to talk about brushes, and honestly, I'm not too familiar or too knowledgeable in the brush game. Um, I have found some cheap ones on Amazon. I spent a little bit more money on some other brushes I found. Um, really, I just have a bunch of brushes, all different sizes for all different needs. Um, I don't know, you know, natural hair brush versus stiff or whatever the size is. Like, I, I really don't know. And so I just find whatever works for me. Sometimes I'll even use like a sharp pencil to get like my exact details of how I'm working on a small surface. And so whatever it takes, I'll use it. Um, I feel like the brush doesn't matter as much as some people might think, but that's just my opinion. Okay, next up are my paint pens. I use Montana paint pens for like pretty much all of my canvases. I use a two millimeter, 15 millimeter, and also a 30 millimeter. Those are the different sizes that you can buy with Montana paint pens. And typically I use the 15 for my outlining and my doodling, and then I'll do the two for my detail work, but 
For the most part, I use black, but I've started to incorporate all different colors within my canvases, trying to spice things up a little bit and add shadows to different sections. And so I basically have a big shoebox full of Montana paint pens and they're also a little pricey, but again, it's it's well worth it, and it's a lot easier and faster than using a paintbrush and like constantly dipping your pen and trying to get even strokes. I know my paint pen's gonna offer this the same stroke, and it's something I like, and so I use it. I also have a shoe box full of Posca pens, and I'll use these Posca pens for my shoes, or sometimes even some canvases or whatever, but. I, again, I've only been using Posca pens for the past like two months or so, so it's kind of brand new to me, but I have all different colors, all different sizes, and learning more about it the more I use them. But those are my paint pens. Okay, now it's time to talk about all my preparation work. And to prep Nike Air Force Ones or any other leather shoe, um, I use acetone, which can be found in nail polish remover. Um, to take off the finish on my shoes and also I use the cotton swabs in order to do that. I'll also use some different tapes. I use painter's tape, uh, vinyl tape, and then my X-Acto knife to cut off all the access tape. Tape can be used obviously if you're hydro dipping to protect parts you don't want to get dipped or if you're painting and don't want to make a mess, you can tape up different sections of the shoe and so I use tape quite often. As far as shipping goes, uh, if I order a canvas, and it comes in, I'll open it like very carefully, take the canvas out, paint it, and basically just put it back in the same box and then tape it up. And so I don't need to go out and buy, you know, all these boxes or whatever. You just have to be a little patient and careful opening up the boxes. And then you just save the box and use that to ship it out. And also I've been using um, some foam I bought from Uline and also like this plastic wrap to wrap up all the canvases before I put it in the boxes. I haven't had too many issues not wrapping it up, but it's better safe than sorry. And it's something I've been doing the past couple months. And for anyone that's curious out there, what I'm filming on, I have a Canon ADD uh, with a little road mic on top. And I have these two lights that my friend Logan let me borrow and then a simple tripod I got on Amazon, nothing too special. But honestly, I have no problems with this ADD. You know, maybe I could boost up my quality a little bit more, but that's not too, too important. Um, and as far as my computer setup goes, I have a custom built PC, and then I use Adobe Premiere and Photoshop and Lightroom, the whole Adobe suite for my editing software. But yeah, I believe that is everything I use. Um, I guess the last thing is like, I just drilled um, some nails in the wall to hang up my canvases so I can hang up my canvases and paint on them so I'm not bending over I'm just standing up painting and so I guess that's the last thing I can mention um, but other than that those are all my secrets those are all my supplies and I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please let me know but if not I'm out peace